and welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking C-section. Today we're talking C-section recovery. So lots of times on the channel, you know, we're talking about weight loss, how to lose weight. Um, I'm a mama of three. I've had three C-sections. Um, I had a C-section with all the babies, all the babies. And the first two pregnancies, I was 288 pounds, morbidly obese, completely out of shape. The farthest thing from the picture of health you can imagine. Um, the last pregnancy, I actually worked out the entire pregnancy up until the day I gave birth. I was a fit size two. Um, so lots of different, like uh, two completely different pregnancies. However, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is whether I was a morbidly obese size two or I was a healthy size two, I recovered really, really well. I bounced back really, really well um, from all three C-sections, whether I was the morbidly obese, overweight C-section that I had with the first two babies or the healthy size two that I had with uh, the last baby. And I will link down below. There definitely were some differences. And in the description box, I will link where I talk about the difference between those two pregnancies, the pregnancies as, as a morbidly obese woman, and then the pregnancies as a fit woman. Um, I, like I said, I'll link that in the description box if you, if you wanna watch that. But I just have a couple tips that I wanna give you because lots of people, um, I've seen so many friends and family that have C-sections. I know there, I know it's much, it's, it's very common today to have a C-section, whether you just elect to have it, like, hey, I don't want to push the kid out, cut it out, or whether there's a complication or whatever it is. Um, you know, and there are more C-sections, but we also live in a world where, you know, like 70% of the world struggles with their weight. And one of the biggest contributing factors to your body failing to progress in birth, of course, there's other reasons too, but weight, extra weight on you is a really big contributing factor to C-sections. Um, it's just the truth of the matter. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you my best tips to recovering from the C-section. Now the first two, let me just say, are gonna sound a little like Jekyll and Hyde. Like it's gonna sound like I'm saying this, but yet I'm saying this. Okay, so just bear with me for just a second. Before we do that, wait, wait, time out. Boop, boop, boop. If you have not hit the subscribe button yet, make sure to do that. We do upload four times a week here on the channel, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and uh, give the video a uh, smash. The like, the like, the like, like button. I, I'm not a great singer, but anyway. All right, so number one, number one, make sure you give your body rest. Whenever you're sick, whenever you have a surgery, whenever you have a baby, <laughs> whenever you have a baby, um, it's really important to make sure that you give your body rest. Um, it cannot fully recover without you being vertical and getting rest, getting sleep. Um, yeah, all of that, okay? However, Listen to me on this one. And, I, and I'm going to go back to number one in a second, but I want to talk about number two for a second first because I'm going to kind of talk about them both together. Number two is get moving. Like, get moving. So every everything in extremes is not good. So when I say give your body rest, yes, your body just went through a C-section. Yes, your body just went through, like, getting cut open, going through birth, whether you had a planned C-section or whether you labored and then the baby didn't come out and then you had a C-section. Those are the worst. Ugh. That happened with my first one. I labored for like a whole day. And then when he failed to progress, I was like dilated to a nine, fully effaced. He wasn't dropping into the birth canal. So I had like been having the contractions and you know, so you're exhausted. Your body's like, <sighs> at that point, you're like, whatever, cut the kid out. <laughs> But like, so it's important for your body to have rest, but listen, anything in excess is not good. So there is such a thing as too much rest because your body also needs to move. Your body also movement actually helps it. So I've met a lot of moms that were like, you know, their recovery plan for a C-section was just lay around and not do anything. And I don't think that is healthy to build your strength, to build your stamina. I believe you got to get moving. If you just lay there, um, again, it's a balance. So for me, what I did is I definitely had times where I laid 
and I napped and I slept. But then I also had times where I would get up and walk around the house. Slowly, I would get up and I would go, you know, up and down the stairs, one foot, the other foot, one foot, the other foot, slowly, but yet I was moving, even in the hospital. You know, I, after the first baby, I kind of knew the drill. So I knew that I had to get up after the C-section, you know, you're laying in bed, they have the catheter in, which is awesome because you can drink all the water you want, but the, it's going in the tube. But after they pull the catheter out, you have to get up two times assisted, which means they have to help you go pee before you can get up on your own. And you have to have gotten up assisted and then unassisted before they'll let you go home. And so like, I was like, okay, I got this down. And I'm not really a hospital girl. Like I'm like, get me home, get me in my own bed. And so I can remember being in the hospital, sucking down the water, like, you know, so I had to pee so I could get up assisted and then get up. So by the time the doctor came in the next morning, I was like up, showered, looking all like, you know, hi, discharge me. Um, and the last one, this would happen. We had, we had her at like, four something, five something in the afternoon. And uh, like the next day I was getting up, I was showering. I did my makeup in the hospital. Not that you have to do your makeup, but it just made me personally feel better. And by the next morning we were, we, I was discharged by nine in the morning. And so, um, yeah. And when I came home, so, so number one, get your rest, get your rest. Number two, Make sure you're still moving. Don't just lay there, slowly moving, but make sure you're moving. It's really crucial for those couple days to slowly make a lap around your house, walk up and down, you know, do some activity, don't just lay. All right, number three is make sure you have somebody scheduled to help you. Um, if you have other kids, you can't lift them. You're restricted on what you can lift. Uh, you should not be doing a ton of cooking. So whether you prepare meals ahead of time, you have people bringing meals over, you have somebody helping you with the laundry. If there's somebody that you can have come in and help even an hour or two a day or a loved one, if you have access to that or you have somebody in your life that offers that, take them up on it because that way you can pick and choose what you want to do. And that way you can be wise with what you're doing. And I was, you know, um, I have a girlfriend and my mom and I had people out after all three births. And I believe that it really helped because I was able to get rest but I was still able to get up and you know, my one girlfriend, I would be like wiping the countertops down and she's like, what are you doing? Sit down. And I was like, but like, I'm okay. I'm not cleaning. I'm not using the broom. I'm not like vacuuming, but like I can wipe the counter. Like, let me do something. Um, let me do something. And so, but keep track of it. Okay. This is where I told you I'm going to sound a little bit like Jekyll and Hyde because you can't overdo it. You can overdo it. Um, and the, the, the fourth and final thing is for me with recovery from C-sections is use your pain meds. Like use your pain meds. Like I am, I am definitely pro pain meds when you need them. When you don't need them, get rid of them. But like that's those first 48 hours, I'm like, okay, when can I have my, uh, it's not Vicodin, oxycodone. When can I have my oxycodone? When can I have my uh, ibuprofen? Because the worst thing to happen is so many times like we're on it and then we get behind on the pain and then it breaks through and then we're like, Wah! don't do that. Um, make sure to stay on top of it if, if you can. Um, and it doesn't make you a lesser person because you're using pain meds. And for me, the first 48, 36, 48, 72 hours, I, I've used my oxycodone and my, um, my, is it ibuprofen 800 they give you? Yeah, I think those are the two things they prescribe to you in the hospital. Um, I used both of them. And then once I got home, I kind of used the oxycodone as needed. So I just switched over the Tylenol for the next couple of days. Once I got home after the first 48 to 72 hours and in both, in all three cases, I had a ton of that oxycodone stuff left that we ended up just flushing down the toilet because I just didn't use it all. It was nice to have it in case I needed it. Um, yeah, so don't be afraid to use your pain pills. I've met so many people that were like, I don't know, I don't really wanna take that stuff. And I'm like, honey, like your body was just cut the frick open. Like it doesn't just stop hurting. And so if it's gonna help you rest, 
if it's going to help you get more rest, that's going to make you and everybody else around you happier. If you can actually rest, it's going to allow you to have more energy, be in a better mood, like all those things. It's going to take the edge off. And so there's no medal for like being brave and being like, yeah, I didn't have any pain medicine. And listen, if you're like, you know, she and you don't want pain medicine, like that's awesome. But I'm just saying it's there if you need it. And then when you don't need it, get off of it, you know? So anyway, those are my top, those are my top four, um, those are my top four things for C-section recovery. Um, the, um, you know, and here's what I will say. I've tried it both ways. Like the first two babies, I didn't have anything that like wrapped around me. I know someone's going to ask this. So let me just throw this in there. Like, you know, the compression type things and this last pregnancy and part of it was because I was 288 pounds. I really didn't make them in a three XL like that I could find. And so the last baby, you know, I'm a size two. I could get all those cute little like belly bandits and the things that like, you know, you wrap around yourself. Like it was, I don't know. Like I, I didn't love them to be honest with you. I didn't find that it helped at all really outside of the hospital, outside of the first 48 hours. Like, I don't know, you know, like the girdle thing that you can wrap around yourself, like it helps the first 48 hours after a C-section because it kind of holds everything in place. But really after that, um, I found it to be more uncomfortable than anything. And so, you know, but everybody's different. And a lot of times, you know, sometimes you can return them, sometimes you can't. Um, maybe see if someone has one you can borrow to try. But that was my two cents. I didn't exactly love them. Um, the, the little belly girdle thing after the C-section. And a lot of times the hospital has something they will give you. So if you're at the hospital and you just ask them, hey, do you have a compression guard? Like at my hospital, they had one that Velcroed and I would just Velcro it onto me um, and it kind of held the C-section spot in my stomach right in place, um, which definitely helped the first 48 hours. But they don't always offer those. Sometimes you gotta ask and when you ask, they'll definitely give you one. So anyway, let me know if there's any other questions you have about C-sections. I would be glad to answer them if there's any that I, I know. This is like one of those things that if you've never been through one, you probably have lots of questions. Um, yeah, but that, that those are my top recovery tips. It's not the end of the world. It really, I was more freaked out about it. And when I actually went through it, I was like, oh, like that was not that bad. And even recovery was not that bad. It just wasn't. And so anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully this eased your mind. And uh, if you are about to have a C-section and you're about to have a baby, congratulations. If you had a C-section and you have a new baby, congratulations. It's really an exciting season in your life, I'm sure. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.